Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Scott Schilling. I am CTO of MTusker. Today, we'd like to talk about, or I should say, we'll continue our discussion around security. In my previous video, we talked primarily about uh, group security, being able to control where people go and what they can do when they get to a particular page. This afternoon, let's talk more about data security to go along with the group security. To do that, I'm going to go ahead and go to Admin, Group Security, and we're going to continue building on this CRM limited function. So I'm going to go here, click on this, and open it up. Now notice, down here, we have the various different areas within the CRM that you can go to and what you can do on those pages. But right here, we have Data Control. Now I'm going to set up a classic data control where an a salesperson can only see the data that they enter into the system. So we'll stick with accounts and prospects. So we're going to put this here, say, OK, we're going to be looking at account prospect records. Then we're going to go to this section, say, what are the fields within that that we're going to control? So I'm going to scroll down to and say to the primary salesperson, and we'll set it as is self. You can, you know, change it to an individual if you want, but that would be kind of, um, you don't have to hard code it because it'll just automatically control to that person, whoever logs on. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and hit save. All right, so now I'm going to log out. I'm going to, and if you remember, I gave CRM Unlimited to my friend here, James Kirk, you look over here to his group security he has CRM limited that's what he can see I'm gonna hit cancel let's go ahead and log on as James Kirk James all right all right we'll come on into his screen here now again remember He's highly restrictive of where he can go and what he can do. He can go and manage some things in the CRM. He can create quotes. So we're going to go over to the accounts and have a look at what he has. Now, see here we have primary salesperson. Well, the primary salesperson is just himself. He cannot go anywhere else other than to here. If you remember, I have a, my favorite company is called Cattle Keep. So the system won't even be able to find it at all. It's totally restricted to just his things. It's the same thing with prospects. Again, primary salesperson right here, James Kirk. All right. So that might be overly limited. So we can sit there and have, give him a little more leeway, or we can even contract it even more. So we're going to jump back out here, and I'm going to say, I'm going to give him a little bit more room. So I'm going to come back in as myself here to the demo. All right. So continuing on, I'm going to go to admin. I'm going to pick group security again. I'm going to go down to my limited CRM. Let's add something else. All right, let's say, for example, um, uh, we have everything associated with James is just limited to himself, or doesn't matter who, if anybody who is using CRM Limited will only be able to see their own things. But I'm going to set up an or condition. Or, and we'll say, we'll look for primary contact this time. Again, we'll pick the account prospect. Then we'll look at the variables associated with account prospect. I'm going to go down and I'm going to say, we'll pull the primary contact is, and we'll just go scrolling down here and we'll pick Mary Contrary. Uh, where's old Mary? There she is right there. All right. So now when James logs on, he'll be say everything where he is the, the primary salesperson or anything where the primary contact is equal to Mary Contrary. So let's go ahead and click Save here. I'm going to log out. Come back in as James. All right. 
and we'll go to the account and have a look. So we'll go here, select accounts. All right, so here's everything he can see where he is the primary salesperson. But as I come on down, I toggle over and now he can also see everything where Mary Contrary is the primary contact. So that is how you would set up you know, your, your data security. Now, as a, as a, as a you know, philosophy, the, you should never set up uh, data security for your, your, your admin unless you have you know, specific reasons to do that. Uh, you don't want to accidentally take your uh, controls and, and, and actually accidentally limit yourself so you can't turn them back on again. If that happens, just contact mTuskerin and we'll take care of it. All right, folks, that concludes our discussion about data security and group security. Thank you very much.